Chief of Naval Operations, Admiral Greenert. Thank you, Chairman Durbin, Vice Chairman Cochran. Uh, thanks for the invitation to discuss the future of naval aviation here this morning. Uh, today's topic for me, the F-35C, is a, really a key part of our future. It provides a unique and essential set of capabilities for our air wing and for our carrier strike group and effectively for the fleet. And it will dramatically enhance the near term and the future air wing capability immediately upon its integration. Now, as we prepare to integrate this, this aircraft, we're focused on three things. One, to ensure that the F-35C delivers on the requirements that we validated that we need. Two, to make sure that integrating the F-35 Charlie into our air wing uh, is effective and that it conforms to the carrier. It has to fit into the air wing. Under and third, to understand the concepts required for affordable operations and sustainment. Now, with regard to capability, we need the stealth, we need their advanced electronic warfare sensors, the weapons, and perhaps more importantly, the command and control capability that their, this aircraft brings. With its stealth and its EW capability, effectively it enables us to be closer to the threat. You can fuse targets. That means as you, as you detect targets, you can bring them together, determine what is what, what is the threat, and build a common operational picture, and you can engage first. And perhaps just as important, the F-35 Charlie is designed to share this operational picture with other F-35s, other tactical aircraft, including our Super Hornet and the other aircraft uh, in the air wing, other ships, other platforms through, via our tactical data links. So it really is a force multiplier in addition to being an incredibly capable aircraft. With regard to integrating the F-35C into the carrier and into the air wings, our top challenge is to reconcile that we need to get done before our IOC are. We need to get the software pro program, the Block 3F capability, certified. It brings us weapons, the EW systems that I just mentioned, and an aircraft that meets the operational envelope certification. We need an arresting hook that is durable, reliable, and precise. And we need the helmet-mounted display system, which is being worked right now with uh, some deficiencies. We need that certified. And as I mentioned before, before to, in, to integrate, we need it to be carrier compatible, if you will, and that ETSI evaluation will start next year. Based on the Joint Program Office projections, we are on track for this with some risk, particularly in the software certification. Now, with regard to understanding and addressing our operations and sustainment, we have a lot of work to do, but I think we have adequate time to prepare to integrate the F-35. We are conducting uh, a business case analysis on the level of repair uh, effort, the logistics, the maintenance schemes that we'll use, and we, are have, we have tri-service meetings. That means I meet with my service chief counterparts quarterly, and we meet with the joint uh, program office quarterly to go over these sorts of things. The CONOPS will need a con uh, con concept of operations to be, have been established to settle what the flying hour COTS is going to be. In other words, what are my flying habits for this type of aircraft? Simulation, which is very advanced, versus training, versus proficiency flying. I need to determine what is the best estimate for the cost to fly this aircraft, and we'll work through that. Uh, we have a mandate that Mr. Kendall has given us, and right now we, uh, we uh, look and project we'll meet this mandate, but this is something we have to focus on, we the fleet. Our sustainment challenges are to be able to maintain this aircraft in a maritime environment. Salt water, moving ship in a carrier, uh, humid environment, it's hot, it's dusty, and how do we maintain this aircraft in that hangar bay? We need to be able to repair the aircraft, in my view, and that requires the right parts and, and that, the, the correct scheme, and we need trained sailors to do that. And if we're going to repair it, then we need logistics, and we've got to have a, an affordable logistics train and one that is responsive. So to me, Mr. Chairman, the F-35C is designed to provide the capability we need, and I look forward to working with this committee, with the Congress, and with the program office to bring it into the, to the fleet at an affordable rate. Thank you. Thanks, Admiral.